David Foster, man. Um, I worked with that guy since the 90s. Uh, it's incredible. Um, he used to always, I remember he was a big Apple geek before Apple was a thing. He was always telling me why I needed to get rid of my Windows stuff and, and go Apple. And he eventually helped me convert. And now I'm a total Apple geek because of him. David Foster, he cost me a lot of money. Um, and then recently we started doing this this uh, thing called Riding with Recruits. We go out with the athlete once a week and he set up a camera in my car and I'd ride around with them. We, we would spend, you know, 30 minutes doing the shoot, but then two hours sitting outside talking just about life and, you know, two of his big loves, the Tar Heels and cigars and, and photography. And, and he's just a really good guy, man. Um, the best. Um, big heart, uh, kind soul. Really going to be missed, man. Miss you, Dave. I had the opportunity to go to a Carolina Panthers game with David. We met up and we we walked over to the stadium together and he literally knew everyone. The Panthers and covering the Panthers was super special to David. It was like sacred ground almost. Um, and he showed me the way and he was gracious uh, about his craft and generous with his time. When you look back on David's commitment to the Charlotte Observer and his commitment to Charlotte, um, it's it can be unmatched. Meeting David for a sneak peek inside Farmstead's West Charlotte store was one of only a few times I saw a coworker in person during the pandemic. I wasn't sure how he'd make two rows of long shelves in a dark warehouse with a couple of workers work for video and photos for the story, but he did. He was a master behind the camera on many of my stories. David and I talked for nearly an hour afterward that day in the parking lot at Farmstead. It was just before Thanksgiving, and he talked about hoping to see his family, missing his mother. We talked about everything from work to sports and waiting to meet up again when it was safe to do so. David was a kind and creative man. Charlotte was so lucky to have David Foster in the community working as photojournalist. Um, and his colleagues were so lucky to have him. And, you know, if I was going to, if this video is for his colleagues, I'll tell you, he, he was so proud to work with you guys. And he was so proud of the work you did. And he was proud of the, the journalists and the visual journalists and, um, and the editors as well. And he was just proud to cover the things he covered and tell those stories. Um, if this video is for his family, man, he loved you guys. I remember him talking about going to visit his mom and I mean, he, he loved you guys a lot. And man, David, if this video is for you, I'm just telling you, I hope that you're up there celebrating um, because you made me so proud but I hope you're up there celebrating and I hope you're enjoying a fat cigar and I hope you're drinking a glass of really nice bourbon because man, you deserve it. So we thought we'd show you how to make a grilled cheese. Hold on ladies, let's, uh, let's you stay to the right again. We'll do the grilled cheese. Thank you for being
Alright, Mr. Theodore. Thank you very much for having us. Alright, so friends, we're going to make our way on up to step one.